Assalamualaikum semua. So, ini adalah bahagian kelima berkenaan dengan electrochemistry. So, saya akan menerangkan uh, sambungan daripada bahagian keempat. Itu saya akan menerangkan mengenai electrolysis of copper sulfate solution. And also, uh, saya akan menerangkan mengenai dengan Faraday's law and quantitative aspect of electrolysis. Okay. Alright. Okay, so kita proceed kepada electrolysis of copper sulfate uh, solution. Okay. So, at the end of, we have two ions. Okay, sulfate ion and hydroxide ion. So, uh, we will choose ion that located in the lower position in the electrochemical series. Uh, to be discharged at the anode. So, hydroxide ion located in the lower position in the electrochemical series compared to sulfate ion. So, hydroxide ion will be oxidized at the anode producing oxygen gas. So, for this one, you can use uh, some other uh, this equation or this equation. Okay. And at the cathode, we have two ion, which is copper ion and hydrogen ion. And copper ion located in the low position in the electrochemical series. So, copper ion will be reduced at the cathode, producing copper metal. So, this copper metal will be um, deposited at the um, electrode. Okay. So, as this electrolysis process occur, you can see that uh, blue solutions of copper sulfate will turn to pale blue as the concentrations of copper 2 plus ion increases. Okay. And we also um, see that the another observation is that you akan nampak lah uh, Dekat copper electrode tu, uh, akan ada uh, copper metal deposited. Okay. So, dia bukan copper electrode. Dekat, kat, dekat electrode, dekat cathode, tu akan nampak uh, copper uh, metal deposited. Okay. Alright. Next, uh, saya akan proceed kepada Faraday law. Okay. So, uh, Faraday first law said that the quantity of a substance form at an electrode is directly proportional to the quantity of electric charge that has flow in the circuit. And the second Faraday law said that for a given quantity of electric charge, the amount of um, any metal form at the electrode is proportional to its equivalent weight. And the quantity of electric charge is given by the equation Q equal to IP where Q is the electric charge and the unit is column, okay, C. Whereas, I is the current, okay, I is the current and the unit for the current is ampere, A, and T here is time and the unit is second. And you also must note that 1 Faraday is equal to 96,500 column. Or, uh, we can say that 1 mole of electron is equal to 1 Faraday. Okay. And 1 Faraday equal to 96,500 column. Okay, now um, proceed to the calculation on plating. Okay, um, this is the step to do calculation on the plating. Okay, you all tahu kan plating apa? Okay, plating tu uh, penyaduran lah. Kita nak kira uh, berapa banyak uh, solid metal deposited dekat elektrod tu. Okay, so ini adalah step-step yang you kena tahulah. Okay, first you need to know uh, how to calculate the charge. Okay, your charge is equal to 
q q equal to i d q is the charge column i is the current in ampere and t is the time in second and then you also need to know what is mole of electron okay one mole of electron equal to one faraday and one faraday equal to 96500 column okay ataupun mole of electron equal to charge over faraday and then you need to know how to use this stoichiometry of the valence half fraction to find the mole of element or the compound and then from the moles we have to convert it to grams of the compound to calculate how much the the metal has been deposited at the electrode okay untuk lebih senang okay saya tunjukkan kamu diagram ni okay ini adalah step step dia okay let's say uh, dalam soalan uh, dia akan bagi kamu current contoh eh dia bagi kamu current okay how much mass deposited so you can follow step ni lah from current to determine the charge and from the charge you determine the amount of electron transferred okay and from mole of electron transfer you calculate the mole of substance oxide oxide reduced and then you calculate the mass kadang-kadang soalan dia bagi mass so cari current ha, so you kena tahulah bergerak daripada mass cari mole uh, and then cari mole electron kemudian cari charge and then kemudian cari current so actually you must know how to work back work okay and also work forward so due to that kita tengok terus eh. contoh okay contoh yang pertama how much calcium will be produced in an electrolytic cell of molten calcium chloride if a current of 0.452 ampere is passed through the cell for 1.5 hours Okay, so soalan ni dia bagi kamu current, okay, 0.452. They also give you the time. Okay, you are the current, you are the masa. So soalan nak mass. So you kena tahulah cara bergerak ke belakang. So from current, you kena cari charge and then cari mole electron transfer and mole substance oxidize ataupun reduce and then baru cari mass. Okay. So, ini saya dah buat dah dalam kerja dia. Okay, the first step. Uh, you need to know uh, the reaction that occur at the uh, cathode. Okay, be, dia nak mass calcium eh. So, calcium adalah cat ion. So, cat ion dia akan uh, equation yang berlaku dekat, reaction yang berlaku dekat cathode. Alright, and then... Uh, you need to find the Q. Okay, cari dulu dia punya charge. Q equal to I T. Okay, I diberi 0.425 times uh, T, which is time. Time must be in second. So, you convert lah 1.5 hour times 3600 3, second. And then you get the charge. 2295 column. Okay, kita dapat charge kan? And then from charge, you need to find the uh, mole of electron transfer. Okay. So to find the mole of electron transfer, okay, kita kena buat comparison dengan uh, Faraday constant lah. Okay, because we know that one mole of electron equal to 96,500 column ataupun equal to one Faraday. So berapa mole electron kalau you ada 2295 colon. Okay. So, ini uh, stoichiometric ratio je. So, you get 0 0.02378 mole of electron. Okay. Once you get mole of electron transfer, you must get the mole of substance reduced or oxidized. So, here we must find the mole of substance reduced lah. So, to find the mole of substance reduced, we must do the uh, uh, ratio, okay, stoichiometry ratio using the balance half fraction. So, here based on balance half fraction, we know that um, two mole electron will produce one mole calcium. 
Yang kat sini, 2 mol electron producing 1 mol calcium. So, if you have 0 0.02378 mol of electron, you get from the second step tadi, berapa mol calcium? So, we get 0 0.01189 mol of calcium. So, you get the mol. Yang ni dah dapat. So, dah dapat mol of calcium, we just convert it to the mass. By multiply it with the molar mass of calcium. So, kita dapat 0 0.476 gram. Eh? Okay, next is next example. Okay. A silver plated spoon typically contains 2 gram of argentum. If 2, 12 hours required to achieve the desired thickness of the argentum coating, what is the average current per spoon that must flow during the electroplating process? Assuming an efficiency of 100%. So, yang ni, dia beri kamu mass. Okay, dia beri kamu time. Sekarang dia nak current. Okay. Dia, you are the mass, you are the time. So, kita nak current. So, you kena ikut step ni lah. Cari more substance. Reduce oxidize. Cari more of electron. Cari charge. Betul dia dapat current. Betul. So, kita tengok eh. So, we first step, we, we find the mole of argentum first. Okay, by dividing it with the molar mass. So, we get the mole of argentum. And then, based on the reduction of reaction, we know that uh, one uh, one mole of electron reproducing one mole of argentum. So, berapa mole electron if we have 1.85 times 10 to the power of negative 2 mole argentum. So, kita dapat 1.85 darab 10 negative 2 mole electron. Okay. So, kita dapat dah mole electron kat sini. And then to get the charge, you can comparekan dengan radi constant. Okay. So, uh, kita tahu satu mol elektron masihkan uh, 96 per 100 kolom. Okay. Ataupun satu faradi masihkan 96 per 100 kolom. So, berapa uh, mol elektron? Berapa faradi ni? Eh? Uh, berapa... Uh, Sorry. Satu mol elektron masihkan uh, 96,500 kolom. Okay. Berapa kolom kalau you ada 1.85 darab 10 negatif 2 mol elektron. So, kita dapat 1.78 darab 10 kuasa 4 kolom. Ini perkara yang biasa yang dia biasa di sebelum ni. Alright. So, dia dapat kolom means that you dah dapat charge lah. You dah ada Q. Okay. So, to get the uh, current. Okay. Current is I ni. So, kita guna formula Q sama dengan I T. So, I is equal to Q over T. So, Q is the charge which is in column. So, gunakan saja 1.78 darab 10 kuasa 3 kolom bahagi dengan time. Okay, time must be in second. Given to is in hours. So, convert it to the second. 12 hour times 3600 second. So, we get the current which is 4.12 times 10 to the power of negative 2 ampere. Okay, yang saya tunjukkan ni yang uh, step by step lah. Uh, follow. Kita follow for chat yang ni. Okay. Untuk beginner. Uh, untuk beginner macam kamu. Saya prefer kamu follow lah one by one. Uh, diagram ni ya. Okay. Um, okay. The next is the. I think that's all. Okay. I want to explain to you. Okay. So. Dalam syllabus ni, seterusnya you need to know about the applications of electrolysis. Okay. Okay, yang ni. Um, okay, uh, saya nak beli baca sendiri ni. Okay. Okay, that's all from me. Okay, thank you.